Okay then, so before we get started, I would like to thank everyone who has bought tickets to the 100k show. The 100k show is where we will be celebrating the fact we have reached 100,000 subscribers by putting on a music show at the O2 Academy Islington. It's only £10 a ticket. What do you mean you ain't got your tickets yet? The link is in the description. Buy your tickets now, send a screenshot through to us so we can show you some love. I'll see you on June the 25th. Oh, ain't you heard? No, ain't you heard? Heard what? Christian Eriksen is looking to leave Tottenham. How do you know that? I got the one football app. Go get it. Anything, 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 anything. We do what Duns do. Longest night, anything. Represent the last award. Obviously, this is going to be the Paulie McHugh award, as we understand. Paulie McHugh is Andrew's mum, John's wife. She passed a year ago. And obviously anything for Paul is what we represent for the Dons. So John and Andrew are going to represent the Paul and McHugh Award. <laughs> this is an extremely special award. As far as I'm concerned, it's my wife that we're talking about here. But the player that this is going to is part of my family. Not just part of the whole family, he's part of my family as well. It means everything to me. It, mean, it meant everything to Paula. He is the main man of the team, if you don't mind me saying so, lads, because you're all fantastic. Uh, but George is the main man of this team. He's the main motivator. He keeps us going week in week out, his speeches are unbelievable and I have to offer this to George Camarazzi so I need to man up again because that one means a lot that, is a lot. that means a lot I drank before this one. Take a minute. Do you know what? We're built for this and I told you boys this. We're chosen. We're truly chosen. I was with this man, what, yesterday, John? Yeah. Yesterday night, getting my suitcase ready for Cancun. <laughs> and I was sat there, and I look at this man and what he represents. A gentleman, a family man. A man I trust and I would do anything for. And I look at this award, and I remember what she meant. I look at what she meant. This is a woman who took me in. I had no mum at that point. She took me in. She went to, when I was in locked up in a, in a youth penitentiary, she drove to Henley on Thames to make sure that I was okay. Got me a Kit Kat, got me a Lucas A to keep me going. Like, this is that kind of woman. Was there when I had to be released, she was there to collect me. When I needed somewhere to stay, and I was, I was, I was on a tag, it was his family that opened up for me. His family. When I needed a meal, after school, when we were playing at the park, his mum was the one making sandwiches for me. Giving me a packet of crisps, sometimes I didn't like the flavour, but I would eat it because I was grateful. This woman and this family is why I, when I tell anyone about the Dons, I speak with it with so much passion and pride because it means so much. Boys, we're talking about love here. We're talking about caring about people that aren't necessarily your bloodline, but you, you can work to achieve something together if you genuinely want it to, to achieve together. This woman gave love to people because she wanted to. Not because she had to, because she wanted to. She worked the profession as a nurse where she gave nothing but love. Not for the paycheck, for the love. And look at what she's produced. A gentleman, a man who tells you about morals that you can stand there with and he'll tell you about life. 
a man who will sacrifice anything to make sure all of you are successful. He will not sleep until all of you are reaching your full potential. We're talking about leaders, boys, and we've all got to learn how to do that. There's always going to be an opportunity for you to step up. Always will be. But this award here, I told you, to other people, it's just trophies. No, you look back at them and you remember what it means. It's about giving a word and sticking to it. And for her, I told her I'll never let this man down. I will never let him down. I will give anything to support him in anything he wants in his life. Because I know he will do the same for me. And for you boys, you're a part of that now. Don't ever feel like you can't ask. Salvin said it. We're here for each other. You've got to understand that it's bigger than the game. That's why I don't give a shit about what these Saturday football pricks are telling me. Because it's bigger than that. We're writing legacies right now. We're the ones who are going to be the elite, the pioneers of this game. The ones who are going to tell you it's more than money. They can't buy you, chaps. Do you know how good that feels? They can't buy you. Money doesn't control you. You stand for something. That's what this football club stands for. We stand for something. So when you turn up on a Sunday, you know what you're representing. You're inspiring the next generation of kids. You're inspiring men who haven't been inspired. You're leaders of men. So be proud, chaps. And this award, thank you so much for selecting me as the winner. I can't, I can't ask for anything.